Hi everybody. I made it. Hallelujah. I made it a little bit late, but I made it. I dashed through the shower and anyone who knows me well knows that I don't dash. I'm not yet anyways. But I'm here fresh fresh faced. I'm sorry if you're hearing the ding of Facebook. I don't know how to do to turn that off yet while while you're on live. I have to figure that out. As you all know I'm not very techy. If you're on here though, please say I can hear you. You know the drill. You know what the funny thing is? The whole time I thought Wendy thought we were living in Dundin. I thought, I thought the town we were living in was Dundin. And today the caseworker at the clinic says, um, it's Dunedin. Dunedin. We're like, oh, oh my gosh. That was so funny. We totally got that wrong. Oh, only us. Okay, yeah, there's some people hopping on. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Donna. Hi, Megs. I love all the exclamation marks. Hi, Rach. I had a nice FaceTime with Rach today. That was quite lovely. My mother and her went into the the bedroom because Dad and Mo were watching TV at a volume that was not suitable to our conversation. And I, I just want to start talking. I just want to dive right in, but I think I should wait a tiny little bit. Blessings, Prophet. Thank you, Apostle George. Blessings to you too. I think technology is such a wonderful thing. Of course, it has it, it has its issues, but without it, we could never do things like this. God has used the technology so much in the last few years. While I have not been feeling the greatest, that's an understatement of the world. So glad that I can connect with you guys like this. So yeah, we do live in the town of Dunedin. It's very close to Clearwater. You know what I found out today, guys? This is crazy. I found out that Jenny Weaver is having a communion service and baptism on Clearwater Beach. Clearwater Beach! That's like right where, that's like half an hour from where we are at, close to anyways. We were just were there, it's powdery, soft, white sand beach, it's gorgeous. And Jenny Weaver is having a communion service there. And God has just recently been talking to me about communion. Just so well since I got here, and then a, a friend from Facebook who had no idea about that sent me a book here in the mail about communion. I know she's having a. Oh, I was like. Oh. Happy tears. So I want to go so bad. You can pray that my legs are strong enough because it's quite a walk to the beach. So, and it's hard to walk in the sand. I really want to go. It's on, it's on Resurrection Sunday. Oh, that'd be so cool. They're just going to have guitars on the beach, and just flags and shofars, and she said hundreds of people are coming. It's going to be wild. I am so plan on being there. I'm just gonna dive in. Hi, Tina. I, I, still remember my, my nickname for you, Mama V. Hello, Glenda. So yeah, I was really thrilled about the, the Jenny Weaver worship saying, Bren Kersman, you will be on the beach. It's in capital letters. Yes, ma'am. I like it. I like it. My sister said, my sister's like that. Uh, yesterday was a really terrible day. Hi, Vicky. 
And when he's like, well, tomorrow's going to be better. And I was really down about it because I've been feeling really bad for the last three days. And she asked, she asked, I'm like, how do you know that? She goes, I just do. Well, she said, I'll believe it for you. You don't have to worry about it. I'm like, and that's a good s sister right there. And she goes, right, I do feel a lot better today. I think it was, <laughs> hi Coral, hi Debbie, hi Julie. I think it was the 29 vials of blood that they took out of me. I honestly didn't think he did think much of it, but my body's just so uber sensitive right now. And I'm thinking that probably made me, my body kind of weak and tired. And that affects my nervous system immediately if my body is tired. And so that is what will have drained me so low and made me so weak. And you know, I saw God's hand in it all, you guys. You know, you know those moments, guys, when you all of a sudden see, you step back and you get like this little glimpse of the, the little bit of the fuller picture and you're like, see God's hand in it more than you could before because it's been a it's been a while it's taken a little bit to get the payments through here and to get my treatments going and I was just thinking when he's like you gotta get going on your treatments come on come on come on and today I saw what a blessing it was that it's taken a while that it's taken a couple of days because my body could not have handled that treatments during I was so weak so I saw God's hand in it all he knows what he's doing I was so happy to to see his hand and even in that it looks like a setback but it's not it's his planning it's just so God's so good I think I said hi to you Carl already hi Deb hi Tammy hi Carol I think I said hi to you Glenda too Bren says, interceding with a massive earthly and heavenly army. You guys, last night when I said, can you guys pray for me? And I put my phone down and I picked it up like maybe five, ten minutes later. And there were 39 comments on there. I picked it up next morning and there was over almost a hundred. I was so touched and some, several people personally messaged me. Hello, mama. I was so, so blessed. Can you keep fighting for me? It makes such a huge difference. Wow, I was, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm in over emotional while I've been here. I don't know why. I, I think I, it's, <laughs> I figured it out. I think it's because I'm overdue. You know when you're overdue, who have you been pregnant? And you're overdue and everything makes you cry because you just want to get this baby out. And this exactly, exactly how I feel. So I cry about everything. Maggie has a praise report for us. Dad has just found me a vehicle for when I come stay with you. How amazing is that? It's for free. Oh my gosh. Wow. I did, that was not on my praise report was not on my list. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Betty. Hi, Sydney. Mwah. Thank you guys so much. I wanted to say it again, though. Thank you so much for praying for me. I like what Sydney says, just be real. I like to be real with Jesus and I like to be real with people. Get with people and be authentic and not pretend that I've got it all together because I do not. It's amazing. Oh my goodness, mom is saying that the vehicle will be there for whoever needs it throughout our treatments. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. That is a huge savings that's a thousand dollar savings for a person who comes out here 
Wow, wow, wow. Praise the Lord, you guys. Hallelujah. Well, let's keep praising him, number one. Okay, number two, we've done, just done number one. Number two, we are family, yes, we are. Number two, I feel much better today. And if you can keep fighting for me, I would love that. I appreciate you guys so much. Can I turn my volume up a bit? I can try. Um, my voice is kind of weak, I know. I'll try to talk louder. My voice tends to be weak in the evenings because I guess my nerves are tired. Okay, so blessing number two is I feel significantly better, so that was good. Wendy took me for a wheelchair ride to the fish market today and we had a grand old time. And we, and we found gluten-free chicken fingers. Yay, I'm on this cr crazy keto diet. But he wants me to try it, so fine. So we we're on it to her. She's, she's fed me so well, she's been incredible. So no, that's, that's praise report number two. I feel much better than I did yesterday. Praise the Lord. Number three is how much did we make at the fundraiser? And did we make our impossible goal and get the five thousand dollar? Or was it five thousand or was it fifty six hundred? I don't remember it was in there. Let's say fifty five hundred American dollar savings. Did we get it? Well the first answer is we made we made fourteen thousand dollars. $14,595 at that spaghetti supper. That is fundraising supper history. There was many fundraisers going on that evening that my parents didn't know about, so they didn't have a huge crowd, so they wondered if they would have, have very good uh, um, donations because they had a, well, a little bit over 200 people. But it was the right 200 people because we had, I'll say it again, $14,595. That's so awesome. God is just providing so richly through his people. He is so good. So Wendy was able to go in this morning and pay for my first two months of treatments and all my supplements. The only thing I have to pay for myself coming up is my pick you line and my first stem cell treatment, which they use my own stem cells for those of you who will be wondering. But everything else is paid for at the clinic for the first two months. Isn't that incredible, you guys? Isn't that is that is a praise the Lord, hallelujah, big time. It is incredible. So, 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 so awesome. So, uh, I still don't know exactly why God has me here in Florida, but I know abundantly, clearly, that He has me here for a reason, and I'm in the exact right place at the exact right time. It's kind of funny because my caseworker, I just shared a little bit of details with her, and also Dr. Minkoff, and they both said the same thing said the same thing they said it seems like you are at the exact right place at the exact right time and i said i know i am i said that's am amazing so they recognized it themselves so i was well, just had to tell you guys that you were so gracious that we made we made the deadline and we got the five thousand american dollar um, discount, that's the word I'm looking for. I had to switch around in my brain a little bit. And so I um, praise God for that. At first it looked like it was not going to work. And when he's like, that, then we're just going to set you up. We'll just pay you every two weeks. And I said, no. And she looked at me like, because I, I got mad. I said, 
That discount is a blessing from the Lord, and I'm not letting Satan steal it. No. And then as I said that, I got an idea. And then I told my dad the idea, and he said, that'll work. And he went, and I started praying in tongues while he went to this certain, certain bank. And guess what? It worked. Because while I was praying in tongues, I saw the Red Sea part, and I knew Satan was trying to steal this discount from us. It's not, it's a, not a life-changing number, but I, it was a blessing from the Lord. Big or small, they don't belong to him. They belong to God's children. And I wasn't going to let her have it. No. The only answer I have for Satan is no. And so I was so happy to hear that it had worked out at the bank. And I was praising God already, and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys because I, I know you guys have been rooting rooting for me. So now I have this awesome communion book that was delivered to my door this morning by a friend who didn't know that God was speaking to me about being very faithful to have communion while I'm out here. So uh, that was so really cool. I like what Mo said, not today Satan. And tomorrow isn't looking good either. Amen. Hallelujah. So you guys, it's not coming up right away, but when you think of Resurrection, Re Resurrection Sunday, pray that I can go, pray that my legs are strong enough. I've asked so many prayer requests of you, I almost feel bad. But I promise that I'll, I'll, I'll pay you back in, in ministry when I'm well. <laughs> in ministry to your hearts online, I'm well. And I'm well. So, uh, I would really like to do that. That would be wonderful. And another prayer request is I have a couple of close friends that really want to be out here with me to help me take care of me in the beginning as I need it. They just don't have the funds. So I pray that God that God would stir up the faith for them to take the funds because he has them for them. He has the funds for them. I know he does. Sometimes you know you guys you guys know exactly how I feel. Sometimes you just gotta stir yourself up and just Say, this is mine, and I am having it, period. George says we have the resurrection power. You know what, that's exactly last night when I felt so sick. I was laying in my bed, and I was saying that scripture in Romans, that the same power that rose Jesus in from the grave, three days dead, beaten and pulverized and whipped, raised him from the dead, that same spirit, lives in me and will also bring to life my mortal body and i was saying it i didn't feel it but i was saying it and you know what you don't have to feel nothing to plant a seed in the ground you just say it and it plants it in your heart and it will grow just don't let your heart become hard that's the only thing the israelites did wrong they let their hearts become hard because they didn't trust God. And I refuse to hear that. I will not be like that. Guys, if you're in a hard place, struggling with things, say that. I refuse to do, I refuse to be hard hearted. You know what I said to Sean on the way home? We were driving home one day shortly before I left for Florida. I said about the trip, I said God, Jesus deserves my trust. He's earned my trust. He gave his life for me and he's come through for me time and time and time and time again. Jesus deserves my trust. So I am going to trust him. So uh, I'm using the sword of the word and just, yeah, I'll, I'll t let you in a secret when I feel super overwhelmed. You might think this is silly, but when I feel super, super overwhelmed, I close my eyes 
for my reason, Jesus. And he always comes to me and he puts his forehead and we touch foreheads and we just stand there and I just take in from his peace. That's what I do. It's like kind of like the ostrich sticking his head in the sand except much better. Just shut everything else else out and just be with Jesus. And just remember that he's right beside you. No matter where you are, no matter if you're in Florida or wherever it is you are, whatever it is you're facing, he is with you and he loves you to the maximum. He loves you to the absolute maximum. So I was so excited to come online to share those details. I had several people emailing me, texting me, how much did you make the fundraiser? Mom said she, could, she couldn't even watch all of it. Moses and Dad were counting the money. She said I couldn't watch. I was I had such a butter, butterflies in my stomach. She said I had to go hide in the bedroom. <laughs> and then Mo said fourteen thousand five hundred ninety-five dollars. What? She said, praise the Lord. And you know my mom. Oh, will I follow? Will I be shed among you? And I say among you? And I show. You know my mom. That's her main language. Her second language is English. She's bilingual. So that's awesome. Another incredible thing. If you look for God, you guys, you will find him everywhere. Oh, one short thing before I say that. God has given me a short, one-line prophetic word for Dr. Minkoff, and I didn't ask for one. I just didn't ask him for one. And so I pray that I have the courage to release it in the spirit holes because I know it's going to be far longer than one sentence. <laughs> so if you think about that, I, I'm going to tell him what it is. I don't care. Sometimes not as a fruit, not a fruit bowl. I don't care what he thinks of me, but I'm going to deliver it. Should I tell you what God told me? I'm going to tell you, I don't think he's watched my lives. God told me he's my next babe Ruth. I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to find out. Because that's a prophet's peanut butter and jam. They love treasure hunting with the Lord. And finding out so Jesus wants to touch him. Big time. I know he's into some spiritualism of some, of some sort. And he spoke of a higher power. But I want him to get face to face with the higher power, the king of all kings. I want to bring him into the room. And I want the Lord just to smack him in the face with love and grace and mercy like he's never known before. It's to totally, it's totally possible, right guys? We already had impossible things happen. Now here's something else I want to share. There's a new movie out right now. Maybe some of you guys have watched it. Have you watched Ordinary Angels? Mom and Dad and Mo went out to see it last night. And they said that almost everyone in the theater was bawling their eyes out, including the three of them. Me, even my dad was crying. And his little eyeballs out. Now get this, if you don't want to know what the movie is about, you guys, then mute me right now because I'm going to t tell you parts. I haven't even seen, seen it myself, but mom, mom couldn't keep me, mom couldn't keep me from telling some parts. So if you don't want to, me to ruin it for you, mute me for a little bit or turn your computer on the little volume. The whole movie is about a lady who decides she hears of a, she hears of a girl, but it's fighting for her life, and the dad is single because I think the mother died. I'm not sure, but anyways, he's in debt up to his ears, in medical debt, and he has no more money to fight for, fight for his daughter's life, and so she decides she's going to do what it takes, which is exactly what my parents have been doing. 
and she goes to the radio stations and the TV stations and bangs on doors, bangs on church doors and rallies people together. It's exactly what my parents have been doing, along with all of you. And the, we say this girl's like, oh, get this, and you're like, wow, that's pretty uncanny. Tiny. It gets way better. <laughs> this is just nuts. You know what that girl's nickname is? I'm pausing for dramatic effect. Butterfly. Shut the front door. For real, Lord. Butterfly. And on the movie, they talk about getting her new wings back. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. When my oldest son has been has some questions of God and questioning things, and I said, he asks how I know things, and I say, because I've seen and heard too many things and have him to tell me and show me and line up things too many times to even have the smallest smidgen of a doubt. Things like that, and of course, many other things, but things like that. Isn't that incredible, you guys? You can't make that up. Like butterfly, that's been my whole thing. And the fundraiser is literally called Catherine's New Wings. <laughs> oh my gosh, I find that so funny. So I'm gonna go see that movie. I should probably take my own box of Kleenex with. That's probably a really good idea. Because there was lots of people, most said that there was people weeping in the in the foyer of the movie room as they were leaving, not even they already left and they knew they were weeping so it's a doozer. You must go see it if you have seen it. Go see it. God is speaking. I'm I'm I know it's not just for me but I wonder I wonder what the Lord is saying to this movie because he's very precise with his timing, what is he saying to the body of Christ? I love what Glenda Frey is commenting. She said, listen to Oasis Church message. This past Sunday with Tim Sheets. We are in the era of era of notable miracles. Yes. Yes, I totally come to agreement with Tim on that. And I'm going to be part of that. Because that's God's will. That's what I want, and I delight myself in the Lord. He gives me the desires of my heart, and he does, does that for you too, guys. Like this kombucha I'm drinking. I found good kombucha out here. That delights me. Mom is saying, he is saying, she's saying this. God is saying that if we rally together as a body of believers, nothing is impossible. Is impossible. I feel your craft on that because I think of the Tower of Babel and God had to stop them because he said, said if they are of one mind, not, nothing can stop them. They can do anything. So he had to confuse them because what they were doing was evil. So if we are of one mind, <clears throat> if we are of one mind, nothing can stop us, the body of Christ. We are, we sometimes, it sometimes boggles my mind, you guys, to think of it, that we are literally the hands and the feet of Jesus on this earth. We are literally his body. And so, he's, often when we're looking to him to do something, he's looking to us. So, this movie is trumpeting something into the atmosphere that I'm going to have to meditate on. But believers are kind of coming. It's something about believers coming together and incredible miracles for the whole world to see. 
I've been asking, I maybe said this to you guys already, so I just can't remember what I shared with you. But I've been asking God, I've had several um, healings at my home church of flood and fire. I was like, God, why couldn't I just receive it there? I mean, it's gorgeous here, but it's it's been a hard thing. I've been stretched in every area. It's not been easy. Why are you? I feel like you're making a really big deal about this on purpose. In my, in my spirit, my mind is like, huh? Your mind is often way behind your spirit. Don't, don't, please don't analyze the spiritual things because they're majorly shortchanging yourself. Your spirit knows. But I believe that he wants. I my thought train of thought just left me. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that he's doing things on a. He's making a big deal about things like he's almost making dramas. You know that you watch on a stage, on a show, to impact people's lives. Mom was just saying this film. This movie was filmed in Manitoba. Are you serious? Unbelievable. That's the province I'm from. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. There's so many things lining up right now. With the great solar eclipse coming up, you guys. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my latest Facebook posts. I think I posted it yesterday morning or the day before. There are things lining up in the heavens that are astounding. Even the heavens and the stars are showing off. It's like he's showing off. He's using his children, children. He's using the stars and then the constellations to show off. It's there is a certain season where I kept saying, "Stand up, Jesus," and I didn't even know what it meant. And I just came out of my spirit, stand up Jesus, stand up Jesus. And I just feel like he's about to do that, he's about to stand up off his throne. And when he does, everyone will be aware of it, whether they like it or not. I found it super sobering, the devotional that I posted the other day that some somebody said that the, the, the glorious revival that there are some in the body of Christ that will, so to speak, miss it because they had in their head a certain idea of what they thought they were supposed to look like. And if one God has spoken anything to me in this season is to let go of what you think it should look like. It's time to get out of the driver's seat and sit in the passenger's seat. Or you could sit in the back with your angels Mom said that's where they ride. That's where hers ride anyway. So that's God's been to me speaking that to me really strongly. Let go of what you think it's supposed to look like and let me do what I want to do for you. All above all that we could dare to think, dream, ask, or imagine. Above that. So I had to let go of what it was what I thought it was going to look like or should look like and just trust the Lord. So that means delivering a Babe Ruth prophecy <laughs> to a doctor of um, I have no idea what kind of spirituality then that's what it's going to be. So it's a time to rest actually the first great American solar eclipse that happened, I believe, you're sound if I'm wrong, 2018? I could be wrong. It passed through a new number of cities called Salem. It went through all of them. Salem means um, peace. And this American eclipse is crossing the exact opposite to the states. It makes a giant X, and it's going through several towns called 
Nineveh, even one in the even one in Canada. I didn't even know we had one. And do you know what town is right where the X marks you know X marks the spot? You know what town is right there? A town called Jonah. <laughs> you cannot make that up. And we are currently at that time gonna be under the constellation. Of a, of a, it's a whale, I don't know his name, but it's a huge constellation of a whale. Isn't God incredible, you guys? Doesn't that just blow your mind? Doesn't it? I'm telling you guys, God is up to something big in your life. He is up to something big in your life. Just dare to believe dare to believe him i'm reading a comment here babe ruth is number three for his entire baseball career three is for a triune god perhaps that's what he needs us to meet the trinity hallelujah i'm excited for that one i'm just gonna be bold about that one not, not care as it thinks but i'm telling you guys let go let go as much as you can look through your life like you would look through a closet you haven't cleaned for a long time and you clean it and go through the whole thing and make sure you're letting go of everything that you can let go of and re release it to the Lord, the good and the bad and the ugly and then trust Him and if you're having a hard time trusting Him prepare for some loud neighbors and if you're having a hard time trusting him, just go to the Psalms. That's why I'm. That's my nine one one. The Psalms and the Passion Translation, and the uh, and the Amplified are my favorite. And that is such a good place to go. And then you read that. He will study my steps. And he will. When I'm overwhelmed, he will lead me to the rock that is higher than my. And you read things like, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, all that is with him, he bless his holy name. He forgives all our sins, he heals all our diseases. He crowns us with tender mercy and loving kindness. He redeems our life from the pit. He renews our youth like the eagles. That's the kind of stuff you read and you start remembering who God is on the inside of you. And because uh, you, you forget sometimes when life gets really hard. It's easy to forget, but I want to be a living, <laughs> I kind of laughing at myself, I want to be a living billboard, and then I wonder why it's, he seems to be such a big deal in this, and because I, uh, one day I said to God, God, why are you doing this in my life, it was a certain something, I don't remember what it was, he said, because you asked me for it, I thought back, I thought, Oh, yeah, I did. And I asked God to make me a living billboard for his namesake. The Lord, cleanse my lips. Here I am. I want to be, I want to be your voice. I want to be your heart. I want to be your hands. And that's when he starts to work in your life in a powerful way. It doesn't always look exactly wonderful because Satan sees that and he don't he does not like surrender people it scares the beavers out of him because they are very difficult and they are slick because they're covered in the oil of anointing and he can't hang on to them he keeps slipping out of his grasp and that ticks him off more than anything praise God hallelujah shit I feel a fire in my spirit. The Lord says I'm stirring up a new fire in my sons and my daughters, the surrendered ones. I'm stirring up a new fire to the ones that I've laid down 
in my presence and said, Lord, I can't, but you can. I'm desperately dependent for you, and all I want is to know you more and to do your will and to fulfill the, my destiny and everything you have for me. And I have marked those wands, and they are shining lights, and I will set them on fire into new levels than they have ever known before. And they will burn with my presence, and other people will gather around them like this, as if they're campfires, and they will warm their hands, and they will warm their hands by, by the heat of my presence, and it will warm their cold hearts, and to bring them out of the thaw that Satan has frozen them into by tragedy and despair and disappointment and deception, and you will shine bright, and you will be fires, and uh, when you, I will bring these fires together, they will turn to one big raging fire that will shine bright, that will be like a city set on a hill for everyone to see. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that word, Lord. Thank you, God. Stir this, stir, stir up the, what's the word I'm looking up for? Stir up the kindling, Lord, the embers in our hearts. Stir them up and blow your holy breath on them. And God, bless all my Facebook friends. You know how much I love them. You know how, Melanie, Jill, you t messaged me last night and you said I was probably low on iron because of the blood. And that's exactly what my sister said. And that just blessed me because Satan knows her when you're in its own. It's because you're getting worse. It's because you're getting worse and tell him shut up. And when you message that, it's like, oh, that's why I'm feeling away from people. So, uh, God. So your comment blessed me so much. And I have so many people that have sent prayers to me and responded to my post. And I wish that the Lord would let us all be slippery in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes. I wish that the Lord would pour out an extra special blessing, an extra special blessing on you right now and in this time, especially for the way that you've given your hearts to me for prayer and so many of you have donated towards me. Hallelujah. I just feel like I should um it's uh, after ten my words are starting to fail me. I'll get them just hang on. That word that I just said after about the fire after after I prayed in tongues, that was the interpretation of the tongues. Just for those who aren't f familiar with it. So it we would all be wise to meditate on that because when God interprets a tongue like that, it's, it's God speaking like, it's, it's like God sending us a text message. If God sent you a text message, would you read it more than once? I would. That thing would be screenshot and sent to my email and it would be back, backed up by so many different ways I would read it and read it and read it. So I just wanted to say that those that you aren't familiar with, that was the interpretation of why I said it. I have one other thing that really was a, a blessing. As you know, most of you know, profits and jewels have bec become much, my husband and mine's main income as his other small business really hasn't been doing well. and. We wondered why, and it was right before I started getting significantly worse. And then we knew it was, God was just using it to allow Sean to be home with me because I, need, I needed him and the Lord knew that was coming. So we haven't grieved that part of it, but we have been living off of grace and love and our income through our profits and jewels 
which I thought I would have to forfeit when I went here. But today, I got a received an order in my store, which I haven't for since I've been here. And I, it was a t-shirt order, and I thought, oh Lord, how am I going to do this? And all of a sudden I was like, I have my laptop here. And I called my friends at home who have a cricket and they are very well versed with it. And I said, if I send you my designs and Sean brings you the iron-on transfer, all you have to do is cut it for him. It's no cost to you. Just a little bit of time. Would you do that? They said, definitely. So guess what? It's a huge answer to her because I've been thinking, Lord, how is Sean's boy going to make it financially because our main source of income is in on uh, in lull and it's not. It's the faucet. The faucet is back open. So you can order t-shirts and you can order jewelry and you can get it and Sean was, was thrilled. He loves to put your jewelry together. He puts it together with so much care and you should see his <laughs> Maybe he's watching, but he 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 tell me later on what he thinks of this. But he's so pumped when he makes a T-shirt. He always shows it to me, Kath. What do you think? And he show, he shows it to me. I'm just sitting in the chair. He's sitting there, like awesome. So, profits and jewels is back in business, and my husband is at the helm of the ship for now, and that is great. And I'm so thankful for the. Holy Spirit for giving me that idea because I've been praying about it. But I, how are they going to pay the bills while I'm gone? So I'll have to post about it. I have some, of course I do. You guys are just going to be like, of course she does. Very exciting ideas to release for jewelry, prophetic jewelry. Like I can't, I can't help it, you guys. The brain thinks prophetically. It doesn't know how else to do it. But it's so cute, my ideas. So I want to release some jewelry that reflects where I'm at right now, physically, and in the time of life that I'm in right, right now. The, so it's I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to just put it on the store once I can get the orders. There'll be pre-orders so that we know exactly how I need to order because that helps us. I know it takes longer to get it because we wait till we know how many to order and then we order the stuff because we have the money because you guys have paid. So I know it's a little bit longer but it really, really helps us financially. So get, get excited for some super adorable jewelry that is it's going to be, like I say, the t-shirts that preach, jewelry that preaches and prophesy of the season that we're in. So I don't know how long, oh my gosh, I've been talking for 48 minutes. I was going to be in here for 20 minutes. <sighs> okay. Well, it's been an absolute wonderful delight to be, to be with you. I know I say this, but I will say it again. I love you all. I love you dearly on the replay. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for every prayer, for every penny, for every book sent here. So many blessings for every encouragement, for every order for profits and jewels. You just help us so much. I'm so thankful for the body of Christ right now. There are no words. I thank you right from the bottom of my toes. It's about even dearer than the bottom of my heart. So, Mom, don't make me cry. I said I wasn't going to cry. She's saying I'm inspiring. My mom is one of the most inspiring people I know. So when she says I'm inspiring her, she's just asking me for me to make a ball fest for the live Facebook. I love you guys all, and I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and you have the grace of the Holy Spirit to become completely slippery in the anointing oil, 
called in the Holy Ghost. May you become ungraspable, ungraspable. I just made that word, word up, not so word. And that the enemy may no longer hold on to any part of your life. May you find the grace to renew your mind in the places where it's been hard to. And may the love of the Father become a revelation to you that you have not had before. And may you find yourself walking in authority that you did not even know you possessed. Because the one who holds all authority has become so real to you and you have met him. That is my blessing over you. I release that in the spirit right now and on the replay over you. Receive it in Jesus' name. I take it for myself. In Jesus' name. Ungraspable. Slippery in the anointing. And as he stokes the fire in your heart, just surrender to the fire and burn for him. Amen. Amen. So I shall sign out. My sister's in bed already. I think she's talking to her husband on the phone. She's been an incredible gift. I'll, our relationship will never be the same after this. We've always had a good relationship. But it's taken to a whole new level. I'm so thankful that God's going to supply for my other friends to come too. Amen. So have a wonderful night's sleep. May you encounter angels and go see the movie Ordinary Angels. Support Christian t-shirts. Christian t-shirts. Support Christian t-shirts. Yes, please, please do because I sell them. Support Christian movies and I will be releasing. Once I'm ready to release it, I'll release it. Oh, I did one short, short PS. If I haven't replied to you and you sent me a message or an email, it's just because the last few days I was kind of flat out. I, was, I felt like I was paralyzed. Anyways, that's behind me. So if I haven't replied to you, my sincerest apologies. Always feel free to message me again and remind me because I love to, to reply to you and to, to your comments and to your messages, especially your messages. The comments I can't help do. But I sure love reading them. It's like reading the best encouraging book in the world. So I shall be back. I don't know if I start treatment tomorrow, but I do know one thing. It's going to be either tomorrow or today. <laughs> tomorrow or the next day. But I do know one thing. I will start on the perfect day. Because God has all my days in his hands. It's all written down. And I trust him. So with that, I will say goodnight again from, if you're listening from the front, you're the Sunday sense, not from Dundon, Florida, not from Dundon, Florida, but Dunedin, Florida. There, we are correct today. I'm an, I'm a, I'm an official Floridan, Floridian, <laughs> I'm not sure, but with that, I will leave you sweet dreams and blessings to all you wonderful people. Good night. See you soon again.